Good morning. I beat my alarm today, which never happens. My alarm was supposed to go off at 5.05, .05, and I've been up since like 4.56. And I've just been laying here thinking, I don't want to get up. <laughs> but I need to, because i got to wash my hair because it's dirty. Okay, I just finished up breakfast. I'm about to leave for work. This is lunch today. I have leftovers, and I can't see, but it is rice and beans and chicken uh, salsa from last night's dinner. I have some mini pretzels, a peanut butter chocolate chip chewy bar, two mini oranges or the clementines, some cashews, some light ranch, and some carrots and a cheese stick. So kind of heavy on the lunch today. All this week I'm going to try and eat everything, you know, early before like I'm going to try and maybe just have a protein shake when I get home because typically I get too if I eat late when I get home from work, then I feel bloated and gross the next day and I usually gain weight. So I'm going to try and just do a protein shake. So I'm going to eat heavy lunch and snacks throughout the day and then that way when I get home, a protein shake should hold me over for bed. So that's what's for lunch. I'm headed out. I will see you guys when I get off. Hey guys, good morning. It's about 10.30. We're out running a bunch of errands. We already went to Honda. We had to switch over some warranty stuff for Andres' tires because he needs new tires. So we went to go do that. And now we're at Costco. I got my year... Oh. I was like, what happened? Okay, my mom, I feel like I'm suffocating here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, my mom was calling for an h and block class. I have a lot going on. This is like a bit, always a busy time. Get my hand me. It's always a busy time for me as far as like taking classes and the holidays and parties and gatherings and all kinds of Girl Scout stuff, all kinds of stuff. So I had, I had an H&R Block class tomorrow night and I had to switch it for Thursday morning because he works tomorrow night. There's nobody to watch the girls. So anyway, that's what I was talking to my mom about. Uh, yeah, we were putting gas. I didn't even see how much gas was. 189. Oh my gosh, it sure is. $1.89, dang. That is so cheap. Last time we were here, it was $1.99. It's 10 cents cheaper now at $1.89. Plus I get 4% cash back on my Costco card, which is insane to me. It definitely pays to be a Costco member because across the street at the Valero, it is $2.18. And kind of like closer to our house, it's like ranging anywhere from like $2.09 to $2.16, somewhere in that area, so $1.89, we had to be over here anyway. And the last time I filled up was the last time we were here, which was November 13th. So it has been exactly two weeks. Wow, that's crazy. I also got my yearly Costco when you're a, I don't, what is it called? Executive member. When your card looks like this, which you pay more for, you get a 2% extra. Like, so I guess, I'm, I think it's like $110 or something. Um, so my check wasn't huge, but it was $98, which is almost the cost of my membership, which is awesome. So not only did I save on things throughout the year, but I also got that money back as well. So um, since we're here, I don't really need too much from Costco, but I may just pop in really quick, cash the check and see if there's anything that I can pick up since we're already here. I also wanna to go to the mall and fix my glasses that I make them not crooked, but if I put them on correctly, this one is a little, the left is a little lower than the right. And I also wanna get our Christmas so what did you see it was 189 that's so cheap but it still cost 33 dollars and 45 cents to fill up because i only had like 10 miles oh, maybe my door. yeah okay we just left costco and i we didn't get any food or anything like i knew we didn't need i mean we do need fresh stuff but i knew we didn't need anything from costco um but when we were in line cashing in the check i realized or we saw that they had ASICs, like people had returned shoes, the ASIC brand, and that's what I currently wear. That's what my like teal 
aqua colored shoes are the teal and pink and then also my work shoes my hot pink ones are both asics and my work ones have holes on both of the sides of the, of the shoe i've been at the hospital for five years almost five years and i've been wearing i had a black pair of asics that i stopped wearing probably like less than a year in and I've had the hot pink ones for the other almost four years or probably more than four years and so it's not good you're supposed to especially when you're on your feet all day have really good shoes so I really needed something else and you guys saw I got those Nikes at Rack Room Shoes the other day and I thought I got a really great deal on them they were 40 some odd dollars and they're really cute they're like a dark plum color with rose gold like the check is a rose gold color and I really like them but I probably should I don't know if like when I worked out in them if they were they just bothered one of my toes a little bit I don't know if they need to be more broken in anytime I want to love Nike so bad because they're great running shoes and like workout shoes but I just I don't know my foot's just not made for them and I thought when I tried these on they were super comfortable but apparently not because they bothered my toe when I worked out so I'm probably going to return those and I saw right now when we were in line at Costco that they had night um, ASIC boxes so we went to go look at the shoes and they had ASICs just I guess they had had ASICs prior to having Nikes so they had like leftovers just oh gosh it scared me in a cart um, just sitting there and it just so happened to be my size so I picked up two pairs I actually picked up three pairs because once you guys find out the price you're gonna be like shocked ASICs normally run anywhere between like 50 and 80 to 90 dollars somewhere around there um, so I had act I was actually looking at this specific color this one at rack room shoes and they were sixty dollars but they didn't have my size so I didn't get it you guys know I love pink that's my favorite color so pretty much anything that has pink that's what I grab I gravitate towards so this is the shoe it is the asic gel vanisher and the number is t75 bq that is the number if i can find them on online i'll link them down below but they're the gel vanisher so they look like this they're like a dark gray color and they have pink accent and then the sole is pink so for work i either like to go dark or because work that I do it's very likely that I will get blood on my shoe at some point or the other or amniotic fluid or, or any of the above like I, there are, I've had to peroxide out my shoes and bleach them multiple times so I try and go with the darker color and I learned that with my pink shoes like I tried I had to clean them way too frequently so these are perfect for work they just happen to be in my size guess how much they were Take a $14.97 because they were on markdown because they no longer had them. I don't know what they started at, probably like $40 or $50, but $14.97. So I picked up three pairs, <laughs> two pairs, oops, two of the uh, gray with the pink because they had actually three pairs in my size of these, but I I left them. I left the, the third pair. I didn't need four, but I picked up a backup. So I picked up two pairs, one for work, one for home, and then a backup for whenever I need them at work. So yeah, $14.97. I picked up that color, and then I also picked up this color. And I may end up wearing the gray ones at home and these at work. These are a navy blue, which my jacket at work is a navy blue and hot pink and lime green accent. If they had had more of, this is the only pair that they had of this one, just so happened to be my size. If they had had more of this pair, I would have picked up two of these and one of the gray, but they only had this one. So definitely if you have a Costco buy you, go check it out. If you're into ASIC shoes, they all rung up $14.97, all three pairs. So amazing, amazing, amazing deal. I was so impressed that they had them. Also picked up a couple Christmas gifts, so I'm not gonna show those because the person that they're for watches my vlogs. <laughs> um, so yeah, I picked up a couple things for the girls as well. I haven't decided if I wanna give them it now or for Christmas, we'll see. Now we're headed to the mall. I told you guys I wanna get my glasses fixed and I wanna get the Christmas ornament for the year. Yay! 
see if they have the pajama one. Yep, this is the one that I wanted last year and I didn't have. It was too late. They didn't have the size I needed. Hi. I want to get a personalized ornament, please. Yay, I'm so happy. I wanted this one last year. Do you guys remember this? So now I'm going to go put this baby on our tree, which looks so pretty. There, now that it's focused, it looks so good. Um, very similar to last year, except last year we did red and gold, I believe. This year we did silver and gold with red bows. And we have all of our little Christmas ornaments. I need to get a picture printed for that one. And then this is our new Disney ornament. I need to get a picture printed for that one. Didn't I show you guys the meaning of all of these? I feel like I did. So now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this one. Where do you think this one should go? Yeah, like right here. I think this is a good spot for it. There you go. That's good. I didn't even realize we put their full names. Oh no, last year we did Emmy, Maddie, Autumn. Emmy, okay. Some years we did their full names. Some years we did not. Yay! I'm so excited. Okay, I got my glasses fixed. I feel <laughs> I feel like as the day is going on, my all of this feels worse and worse. But anyway, I got my glasses fixed. I feel like they look a little bit better. They're plastic frames though, so it's like strange. They heat them. With my other frames, they use kind of like a plier with like a rubber thing on them to adjust the actual frame with these they heat the they heat the stem of the glasses like this part of it they heat it and then they manipulate it and I told the guy I was like look maybe it's just me but when I put my glasses on straight forward one side's higher than the other it still feels like higher than the other to me and maybe this just me probably like to the outside world it's not a big deal but when i look straight on into the mirror i feel like this side is a little bit higher than this side like they need to be actually now they look pretty good but prior to that they look like they needed to be adjusted a little bit and he was like yeah of course not everyone's face is symmetrical and ears and stuff like that and i knew that of course but the girl before made me feel like i was crazy when I first got them, <clears throat> she was like, they look very even. Maybe it's just your eyebrows <laughs> or, you know, something like that. And I was like, okay, well, uh, they're crooked to me. And I've lived with them for the last couple of months that I've had them. And what now? You know, like no one was going to fix them for me. So this guy was super cool and he was very just like, I'll fix them, no problem. And if you take them, like when I take them off, they're very, they're like totally lopsided and one of them has more of like a C on my ear than the other, but I feel like they look better like straight on. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy because I feel like maybe they could look a little bit. And I think my left eyebrow has a higher arch than my right, which is what throws me off a little bit. So I don't know. You guys are all probably thinking I'm crazy too. Anyway, what I spent my afternoon doing besides vegging out and watching TV is wrapping Christmas presents. I know, it's not even December yet, but the stuff that I got, we typically don't get the girls Christmas presents unless it's something small, whether it is, I don't know, stuff we get on Black Friday or like pajamas or little things, little things. Like if you've watched, the last we've done Christmas present videos from the girls for years five years now I feel like this will probably be the sixth Christmas I'm pretty sure so it's a, like a good majority of Emmy's life most yeah Maddie's and Autumn's like I've shared what they've got for Christmas every single year just like I've done with myself and if you go back and look at those the majority of everything is from Santa and 
that's it. Like we don't usually get them anything. Last year was a big exception because we kind of combined money. Santa still brought them some stuff, but the, all the family combined money to get the swing set outside. And other than that, it's like a, maybe a little doll here or like if Target has a really great toy sale or most of the time is like cheap stuff we pick up from Black Friday or if I get something free buying something else, stuff like that because they come off of birthdays. We have birthday September, October, November. I typically, unless they need it, don't buy them a whole lot during this time. Like they get back to school stuff, they get summer stuff, and of course they get like maybe a fun item during tax time just like we do, you know, things like that. But um, summer stuff, like if they need summer clothing or if we need beach toys or pool toys or anything like that or summery type activity and then back to school stuff September October November December we are tapped out like we have we do a lot for birthdays they get so much for their birthday not even I mean we don't do gifts for their birthdays like we provide the stuff that they need every we provide the party we provide their special day we don't do a gift unless it's like a special birthday um, even then I wanted to get Maddie a James Avery bracelet for her fifth birthday, which I probably still will eventually, but I got one for Emmy on her fifth birthday and I didn't get one for Maddie. And Emmy got a special trip at, at that time too. So, I, you know, I, I don't always do everything for one that I did for the other and vice versa. So Christmas is no different. Like my family, Santa provides everything for them. So it's only if I pick up little things. So today I happened to pick up this thing at Costco which I probably would have been like oh that's cute I wrapped it it's for Christmas <laughs> Merry Christmas from mom and dad <laughs> type of thing so I just got the big girls one of each and then I have some movies that I had as rewards I have six of them I only have two right now so I'm going to wrap those as well because again they need to understand like even though I got them for free they have so many movies in there, like this is part of a gift type of thing. So that's what I did, I wrapped everything. I had I had like part of a roll of pretty paper that I was hoping I had enough to wrap everything with, but I didn't realize it was only part of a roll. So I finished this one and then I went in to another roll. So I don't know, I'm thinking I'm gonna put these out under the tree because I have other stuff that I wanna start wrapping as well. I just didn't wanna put them in a closet and then they accidentally find, I'm running out of room to hide things because I often send them places in the house to go look for things for me and I didn't want them to find them by accident so although the way that they're wrapped they look like what they are but that's okay even if they guess what they are they don't know exactly so this is going to be hard for them to wait almost an entire month with these things probably especially autumn with them by the tree and not be able to open them that's going to be hard so maybe I'll wrap them and put them in the closet. What do you guys do? Do you leave, do you start putting Christmas gifts out this early or is it something that you don't think about? Also, I am noticing our tree is so low to the ground. Like I look at some people's trees on Instagram, which maybe that's not the right place to put them, but our tree, you can't really put gifts underneath it. Like you kind of have to put them out is it supposed to be, I mean like maybe it's not on a pedestal or something like it's supposed to be, or maybe it's supposed to be raised. I don't know, it's always been like that. We've had this tree for years and you can't actually put gifts under it. So I'm curious, let me know in the comments below. Does your tree the kind that you can put gifts underneath it and also do you put gifts out early? I am cooking dinner, Hi, which is taking, okay I'm catching, ready? <laughs> Gotta get it to mommy. It's taking literally everything in me yeah, mommy. Yeah, to mommy. cook. Yeah. Okay, I'm catching. All right, ready? Mommy, that looks like a good Look at it. <laughs> she just loves chasing it. Let her chase it, buddy. Give it to her. <laughs> 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 mommy, my okay. fingers are dancing. Oh, there you go. Ready? Go get it. Anyways, taking everything in me to actually cook. I am not feeling good at all. It's getting worse as they as the day progresses. Ready? Go get it. 
and um, I really wanted to pick up food. That's like the cold, honest truth. I even texted some of the essays at work and I was like, okay, I'm catchy. Okay, I'm catchy. Okay, I'm catchy. <laughs> and I was like, I don't feel like cooking. Even though I had chicken in the fridge, I have vegetables, I have leftover stuffing. Like, that's what we're having. That's what I planned on for dinner. Uh oh, grab it. And I just. Okay. Uh oh. I couldn't do it. I was like, no. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. <laughs> I just kept telling myself. Okay, ready? Backwards. I was like, go home, Melissa, go home, Melissa. You have food, you have food, you have food. Don't spend 20 unnecessary, unnecessary dollars. So here I am, cooking chicken and heating up stuffing. And I think I'm going to make green beans. I'm not feeling it today. I have a sinus, like a pressure headache. The big girls are doing their... Um, Girl Scout stuff, they're making their decorations for some ministries. We're going there this weekend. And Autumn's chasing a balloon. They see my hands. Yes, they see you. Hi. Hi. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. And Autumn. Good night. See you tomorrow. Boop. <laughs> I can't tell if this is allergies like look at how red my face is from blowing my nose just like ugh, my goodness I have snot all over my shirt I was picking up Emmy from school and I'm walking in I sneezed and it was one of those sneezes you can I mean you can hear I'm stuffy this is gross I'm sorry probably TMI but I know I'm not the only one that this happens to I have the problem of drainage like my mom and my grandma have I can't even breathe have the issue more of like being stuffy and not being able to blow anything out like you just can't breathe you're super stuffy but you have no drainage it's just like nothing I always have the opposite effect when I'm sick when my allergies are acting up always never fails I have too much. I literally, like if I don't blow my nose or I don't like suck in, I know so gross, I'm sorry. But if I don't do that, I can sit here and it will just drip. Drip, 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 drip. Which is why I try and stay on top of my allergy medicine to dry it all out. But it doesn't always happen because I hate taking medicine. I'm even bad about taking my multivitamin. I do pretty good, but I do miss some days. Or I don't take them regularly at the same time. Where was I going with that? Oh, so when I sneeze, I have to be very careful that I don't like projectile snot on everyone. Only me. Once again, I know this is gross. If you don't like talking about bodily fluids projecting onto anybody else, feel free to X out here. But that's what happened. I mean, okay, I, I didn't actually like snot on anybody, but I sneezed walking in and it was like, sometimes I can just be like, you know like that kind of sneeze and no one really even notices that I sneeze other times I'm like you guys have seen me before <laughs> and it's so true like I try and make myself sneeze every single sneeze like I can't stand when I'm trying to sneeze and people are like big elephant and then it stops me from sneezing I hate that because then the sneeze still feels like it's there I hate that so I was walking in the school and the, I don't know what she is, the front desk ladies right there, you know, cause we have to sign out the kids. I walk in and I'm, I sneezed and nothing came out. It was fine. I sneezed again and she's like, Oh, allergies or you have a cold right then. Like she's asking me that question while I'm sneezing and it like flew out of my nose all here. So I quickly, you can kind of see it on my sleeve right there. You see that white spot right there? I quickly, because this all happened simultaneously. It was like a slow-mo. If I had been recording it, it would have been the best slow-mo ever. But very quickly, I sneeze. She's asking me, oh, allergies or you have a cold? And I'm like, oh, I'm not really sure actually knowing. And I'm really not. I really am not. I can't tell. I feel like I have a pressure headache, like a sinus headache. My eyes feel a little bit itchy, but I just came off of a sickness over the weekend. 
so I can't tell if it's just my allergies today. I'll know more tomorrow. If I still feel like this tomorrow, it's a cold. If I don't, it's allergies, but I can't really tell. So I was like, I'm not sure. <laughs> Trying to play it off all cool, freaking snot. Literally all over my sleeve. It's dried now at this point. All over my sleeve, I'm just like, oh my god, gross. Sanitize that pen after I used it. So I felt really bad. That poor lady was probably like, you're disgusting. But I couldn't help it. It's not like I had a tissue or anything. I mean, I sneeze. I cover my hand, my uh, mouth. Like, usually, if I'm coughing or sneezing, I'll try and, like, do it in the crook of my elbow or my arm. But for whatever reason, this just, like, came out suddenly and hard. And it just, like, I don't even know what it looked like. Snot all over my face. So, yeah, I've just done nothing but sneeze and cough sneeze and cough Andres is working it's eight o'clock everybody's in bed and i am going to lay down i'm gonna take off my earrings lay down and relax i'm gonna watch the new ryland adams youtube video watch some more making a murder and lay down because i know i have stuff to do tomorrow and i don't want to feel like this anymore so that's the plan. Anyway, I don't know what is really on my agenda tomorrow. I'm waiting for so many packages, like from ordering last week and ordering over the weekend. I have so many things coming in, and I feel like the mail is taking forever. Am I the only one? I know it takes forever during the holidays. I know it does, especially with like all the online deals from Black Friday and stuff. Also, I have super cash, and I also want to pick up some little gifts and stuff for my Color Street Live this weekend. I'm really excited. I've got in half of my orders. I'm waiting on two more Color Street orders, so I'm hoping and praying they make it here before my live this weekend. I know for one, for sure, one of them will make it. The very last one is my Black Friday order, and I ordered quite a bit because that stuff sold out so quick. I ordered, I think, 11 of the glitter Black Friday color and like five or six of the shop one. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm really excited, but I want to pick up some little gifts and stuff, and I also need to pick up, like, a little something for my giveaway and just various things like that. So I'm thinking tomorrow will be the day. If not tomorrow, probably Thursday. I have to see what time on the desk works tomorrow because if he works during the day, then I'll probably just do it tomorrow. If he works at night, then I may just spend the morning with him, and we'll have to see. I'm feeling like crud. Okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow.